This video provides a general introduction to Automation Anywhere's A2019 Community Edition and demonstrates the process of creating a new task bot. Automation Anywhere's A2019 Community Edition is a cloud-based platform that you access using Google Chrome. When you log in using your credentials, the first thing you will see is your control room. The control room allows you easy access to determine the statistics based on your usage of the program, both through the dashboard, as well as through your activity menu, where you can see your in-progress or historical use of the program. You can also quickly edit your devices and see your user credentials using the left-hand menu. Note, if you're using the Community Edition, you can only have one device registered to the platform at a time. If you need to change devices, you would use the Devices menu to delete the current device and then install the platform on the new device. In the top right-hand corner, you have quick access to help. You can get help from the documentation, from walkthroughs, via support, which is the community where you can ask questions or see questions that have been asked along with their answers, and the website. You can also change the language that you're going to be using for your program. You can also see your device credentials up here, as well as update your device in this icon. And you can see your profile and change your password with the little person icon. If there's an update to the local bot agent, you will see an option to update your local bot agent by clicking on your device icon. The control room also provides you with quick access buttons to actions users typically take, such as creating a bot, launching the IQ bot, and opening bot insight. We're going to begin by creating a bot. You can create a bot by clicking on the create a bot link, where you will enter the name of your bot, the description of your bot, and then you could change the folder. The default folder is the bots folder. For the purpose of this case, we're gonna use the default folder so that we have an easier time finding our bots in the future. After entering the name and the description, you would then click on create and edit and you would be taken into the workbench. I'm going to show you a different way to create a bot using the left hand menu. So here you can go under the bots menu and click once to open it and then you could see my bots so you can go ahead and click there and then you would be able to create a bot using the create a bot link in the top right hand corner or using the create a bot link down here. Once we click on either of those options, again, we will have the opportunity to name our bot, provide a description, identify the folder. In this case, we're gonna name our bot Popping Bots. And then we're gonna put in our description, CPOP Bot Dashboard. And then we're gonna go ahead and create, hit the Create and Edit button, and we'll be taken immediately into our workbench.